Here's how you can move from the foundation tier to the higher tier. Different students have different weakness areas and there might be a reason why they are doing foundation compared to another student who's doing foundation. Some students may just find their way eventually by going through the different years, year eight, year nine, year 10. There isn't really a one true fits all method that I can advise you, but nonetheless, I will still give you some things that you can do to give you a better chance of moving on to the higher tier. Now, the first piece of advice is get better at number and algebra topics. Number and algebra make up more than half of the GCSE curriculum and you just can't do without learning those topics. So forget about all the other topics in maths. For now, focus on these kind of topics. And we are talking about topics such as finding the HCF, lowest common multiple, uh, dealing with fractions, so you know how to add, subtract fractions, multiply, divide, expanding brackets, solving linear equations, finding percentages of an amount, those kind of things. And then once you've got some confidence on those topics, then you can move on to like geometry, finding the area of the circle, uh, finding mean from frequency table and the like. Now, advice number two is start to make a list of topics that are your weakness areas and don't be scared of them. Sometimes students come across a topic and they're like, I don't really like this topic. I just can't do this topic. And they give up. They don't even try. Stop being afraid of these topics. Sometimes you need to see several examples of a topic before you start to get it. And that's okay. People learn at different paces. There are plenty of online resources that you can use. Lots of videos on YouTube, on TikTok that you can go and watch over and over again, maybe from different people, and then somewhere down the line, it might just click. And then what you should do is then go and practice those topics by downloading worksheets or from textbooks. Now, advice number three, and this is probably the most important one. The foundation tier and the higher tier are actually linked by around eight questions. The last eight questions of the foundation paper are the same eight questions of the higher paper usually and it's these types of questions that you must be able to access and do to prove to your teacher your school that you're capable of doing the higher paper because if you start getting confidence on those questions provided you've done all the other questions on the foundation paper that come before it then you are giving yourself a very good fighting chance of moving on to the higher paper you need to be hitting that grade four consistently on the foundation paper because this will be evidence that here is a student that is almost reaching the ceiling of the foundation paper which is a grade five and your teachers and your schools know that you have a better chance of achieving a grade four or a grade five from the higher paper so they may decide to move you onto that higher paper and also into the higher sets and lastly guys general advice i've seen on social media a lot of people sometimes tease the foundation students what i want to say about this is that not everybody learns the same way as somebody else sometimes some students may be on the foundation paper because that's the level of maths that they can understand. And not everybody has to go on and become the next Pythagoras. Maths can often be one of those subjects that isn't for everybody. And that's okay because your strengths may lie elsewhere. Provided you leave school that grade four or grade five from whichever tier, higher or foundation, that will be enough for you to move on to the next part of your life and do something that may be not related to mathematics. The important thing is believe in yourself and remember that with effort, anything is possible.